What's up everyone, this is Hemorrhoid, aka Beat Fryer, bringing you another Super String video. It is Friday night, and it is after 1am, so we are going to hopefully have another fun video. Um, let's take a look at Abyss Stage 36. We really need to try to get through some of these Abyss Stages before the season is over, because I don't want to miss out on any rewards. So, this stage says, The boss will be invulnerable until all other monsters are defeated. And the boss's cooldown will reset every time an enemy is defeated. So we have to ask ourselves if the boss's cooldown is going to be reset. Who is the boss and what is their cooldown? Well, the boss is Kim Han. Or Han. Um, this is a DPS unit, and all of the cooldowns have to do with DPS. So, uh, Kim Han is a unit that uh, receives a crit chance and damage a boost, possibly speed as well. I, I cannot recall. Um, I'll tell you what. Friday night after 1 a.m. This is laid back. Let's go take a look at what the boost is. We want to know for sure so that we can properly deal with it. Now, I will say that uh, my last couple videos I did experience a bit of lag with LD Player 64. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I I do these videos on a laptop. I, I typically play on. A, a gaming cell phone, a mobile device, but when I'm recording videos, I do it on a laptop, and I've experienced a bit of lag in the last couple of videos, so what I have done is I went into the settings of LD Player 64, and I increased the amount of CPU cores and RAM allotted to the emulator. So I'm hoping I have solved some of those issues. If not, I may end up trying Bluestacks. I've played uh, Android games on Bluestacks before, but LD Player seems to do a little better for me, or at least it uh, has been its track record. So I try to use LD Player, but, you know, we're going to do what we have to do to bring you guys the kind of uh, videos that you want to see. So, Kim Han's um, passive is Receive Frenzy when an ally or enemy is defeated. And it is increased crit percent and crit damage. Okay, there's no speed. Sorry about that. It is crit percent and crit damage for each of those buffs every time a unit is defeated. So, this is incredibly useful in raid when there are a lot of units dying in quick succession. However, it's not terribly use useful uh, in other places. But we want to be aware of it because that is who we're going up against in Abyss 36. Looks like we're going up against a couple of tank classes and a couple of heal classes as well as Kim Hank. So, I'm just going to put a team together, on the fly. We want to save Kim Han for last. Uh, and we do have a couple of tank class uh, units that we're going up against. So, it's very tempting to take Agite. If you follow my channel, you know I have maxed his skills. But... I'm going to take Kim Bong Chun instead, which he's still incredibly strong in my roster, but he's not my best of the best. So, you know, I like to try to give myself a little bit of a challenge. Now, for the heal units that is on the enemy team, I want to, I want to basically take them down quickly. I want to one-shot them. I'm going to take one soul. Not only does he have Savage 2 damage and can typically one-shot, uh, you know, units in hard content, 
He also um, can kind of deal with Kim Han's ability to one-shot me. So in other words, if Kim Han one-shots Wansu, that's okay, he's immortal. He's got two turns that he can try to answer Kim Han's, you know, um, attack. So, we're going to do that. And what else are we going to do? We're going to take Soquan. I have invested in Soquan recently, and he is an incredibly strong unit on my roster now. Probably my second best tank right now. Um, after Hasty. Typically, I would bring Hasty to this fight, but once again, I like to try to change things up a little bit. Now, for the support slot. Now, you don't have you don't have to do one of each unit. I could do two tanks, two attacks, two supports, uh, two specialists. That part doesn't matter. We can build our team however we want. Um, but who do I want? That is the question. I want to try to bring somebody that I maybe have not brought in previous videos. Let's bring Kang Song Young because I've got a single target DPS in one soul. Kim Bong Chun can be a one or two target attacker depending on which skill you use. Now So Kwon has the AOE taunt, but we can always just use his single target if we want to. Now So Kwon, okay Kim Han is the boss, but the only attack unit in the stage. So, I'm going to go defense on So Kwan because I want him to survive long enough until I can defeat the other enemies in the stage. And I still want So Kwan alive to deal with Kim Han. Now, Wan Soul is, um, is going to be one of my main damage dealers, so I'm going to go attack on him. Kang Sung Young, I want speed because his main purpose is to shut the enemy down with sleep and confuse. Now, Kim Bong Chung, you can go either way. You can go speed or you can go attack. Now, I know that I'm up against a couple of tank units in this stage, so I'm going to go attack. This is the team I'm working with, and uh, truthfully, I don't remember what team I did this with last time. Now, it is Friday night, so we're going to have some orange drink. Now, we're ready for Abyss 36. Starting to get really interesting, we're going to have to kind of zero in on our strategy as we progress in these Abyss stages. Now, Kang Song Young, now, okay, so here's the deal. We're up against a Gold Goblin, and you guys know I hate those Gold Goblins because they do an AoE heal, and they, they do an AoE cleanse all in the same move. Now, this, um... This Yeti-style tank, right over here where my cursor is, he almost always opens with a taunt instead of an attack. So I'm not terribly threatened by him. However, this um, Mafia boss over here on the far left, he will open with an attack. Now, it is a taunt move because he's a tank, but it is also an attack. So he is more of a threat to me at the beginning of the match. So whoever we whoever we target with our ultimate on Kang Song Young is the guaranteed sleep. I do not want this healer, cleanser, to be able to remove. Wow. That is, that is a terrible, terrible proc. Um 
We did not sleep anyone at all, it doesn't seem like. Are these... Are these monsters immune to debuffs? Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. Alright, let's, let's get out the drone, because now... I am ticked off. And I'm ready to lay into these... Um, these enemies. That's it. Alright. If that's the way they're gonna be... We're gonna have to play dirty. We're gonna have to take out their healers. And there you go. Gone. Now. So, okay, so they're tank. Okay, there you go. The Yeti is leading with a taunt that does not damage. Just as I said, he would. Kill him is going after one soul. And nearly killed one soul in one move, so. You know, um, we definitely want to be careful here. Let's, we are taunted, so we don't really have any option except for to attack the Yeti. Now we have some stuns available to us. Uh, as Kim Bong Chun. I want to stun this healer on the far right. I don't really want them healing up at all. I mean, it, it's almost a universal rule that you want to shut down healers as quickly as possible. Now, we missed the stun, though. That is a big problem. And So Quan is taunted, so I cannot attack that heal unit. I guess at this point I'm going to go with So Quan's AoE taunt, because Wan Sul is already close to being... Um, being put into his immortal status, even though we've just begun to fight. And we want to be careful. Even though we're only in a mid, you know, mid-range at this stage, we want to be very careful. Okay. So, looking down here at the turn order, we see the Yeti is going to go next, and then the healer, and then the boss. Um, the healer is almost dead, so I'm going to take out the healer, because I really don't like going backwards, you know, in the fight. Nothing is more frustrating than doing a lot of DPS to some enemies, only to have it reversed by a healer. Incredibly frustrating. Now. We are... Okay, now here's a good example of a wonderful, wonderful use of Kang Song Young. If you will look at his skill 2, I'll, I'll show it for you guys on the screen here. It says Steel 2 Buff Effects. Now, if you remember, Kim Han uh, gives himself these crit buffs. And he has two crit buffs on him right now. But we're going to steal those. We're going to take those buffs from him so that he cannot use them against us. Soquan is at half health, so I'm going to go ahead and use Soquan's uh, defensive slash regenerative move, move. And now we have Wan Sul ready to do some damage to the boss as well. As you can see, we're still having no problem whatsoever in these Abyss stages. That is why I call them mid-range Abyss stages. They start to get really hard around 38, I suppose. However, this is the first time that we've all done the Abyss stages since the Awakening Universe bonuses. So, I guess none of us truly know yet. Well, some of us do. Um, some of us don't know yet exactly what uh, what kind of performance we're going to see in these higher abyss stages. Because since I have been recording videos for you guys, I have gone a little slower in my abyss progression this season, so that I can find time to record these videos for you guys. Now I got some. Uh, I got some experience boosters from that stage, and I think I told you in a recent video that I was working on Tina and Yak. Um, Tina, Tina I got to level 65, so she's ready for 
the co-op fights that I plan to use her for. I went to 65 to get the... If you didn't know, there is a Destiny reward at level 65, 5 star, that gives you an A to SS uh, EX box. So, if I'm building a unit but I don't want to fully commit just yet, I like to take them to 65 to get that box. Now, I also told you that I've been working on Yak, and Yak is level 54. I decided to put DPS on Yak. Um, Yak is a unique situation with specialists. Usually with specialists, you want to maximize your speed. But if you will notice, Yak's, um, the biggest move that Yak has is a, a AoE silence and AoE, um, well, I don't have his EX yet. So let me show you what his EX does with his ultimate. It is an AoE silence and plus damage received effect, but in order to hit additional targets with this ultimate, you need souls. You need a maximum of three souls. And if you look at his passive, um, you acquire a soul every two turns. Which means every time a person takes a turn in a, in a match or a fight, two turns, you receive a soul. You would like to have three souls when you open with this ultimate move. Which means you need six turns to occur before you open with your first attack. If you want to open with a full AoE silence and debuff. So, Yak is unique among the specialists in that he does not need crazy speed. Because you're okay if he goes a little bit later in the turn order. So what I decided to do for him is put DPS on him. And in, in case you didn't know, uh, blue items, there's nothing wrong with blue items as long as they are a high natural star level. Now what I mean by natural star level, you'll see there is obviously uh, a number of stars that is on a piece of gear when it drops. And the higher star level the gear is when it very first drops, the higher the primary stat is on that piece of gear. Now you can obviously upgrade the star level on your gear pieces, but if the star level is higher, uh, when, when the gear initially drops, you have potential to see a lot higher main stats. For example, this blue crit chance gear, um, if, you hit, if you hit this little acquire button here, it will tell you what star level the piece of gear was when you first acquired it. And as you can see, this is a max six star gear piece. So that means my primary stat, which is status effect here, is best of the best. This is the highest that you can see on this, this gear piece. Even if you have a purple or a yellow, um, the, the secondary stats will be a little higher, like your defense, your crit resist, hit points, crit damage down. You will see higher substats on a, a, a tier level of gear that is higher than blue. But your primary stat is the same regardless. So this six star piece of blue gear is going to have more status effect hit than a, a four or even a five star purple or yellow piece of gear. So I want Yak's uh, debuffs to hit, so I put a six star natural piece of gear on him. I'm going to be going for some damage with Yak. And, you know, this can be a, a kind of a to be continued situation because I've not got him fully built, but I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on. Now, let's go to our inventory. I think I have something I can do for you guys. I have one SS ticket. 
I think I got it from the, the, uh, the Spring Roulette event that is going on right now. So, let's see what agent we get. I would like to see Agite more than anyone because I've got his skills maxed now with only two awakenings, but, you know, with SS, you kind of have to take what you can get because those are the rarest units. So let's see who we get. Okay, we got Cornelia. I don't hate that. That's not bad because I think I told you guys recently I, I got her EX weapon finally after... You know, months of gameplay. I have her EX weapon. She is the best, um, you know, the best healer cleanser in the game. You know, there are other units who heal and cleanse who might have more utility than Cornelia. But, I will say that with Cornelia's EX weapon, when she cleanses, not only does she heal your team proportionally to the amount of debuffs on your team, but she also increases your team's turn meter, so Cornelia is incredibly, incredibly strong when it comes to a healer. In campaign, or, you know, maybe raids, or something like that, Cornelia can be a valuable asset in your toolkit. But anyway, um, I just wanted to go make this video for you guys so you can see how I handled Abyss 36 this time around. But feel free to get creative. You know, come up with your own ideas and even in the comments down below let me know what kinds of teams you like to use for Abyss because I love to hear from you guys. But anyway, I guess we're going to call it, uh, call it a day here. And you guys have a wonderful day and we will talk to you next time. This is Hemroid. Uh, Put the money in the bag. Do it fast or I'll blow your brains out. What are we gonna do? Let's go, buddy. Today! Everybody stay calm. I'll handle this. Oh, no, Frank. Hey, don't stop it. Frank, don't be, are you crazy? Frank, what are you doing, dude? Hurry up. Move faster, I'll shoot you in the face. In the bag. In the bag. I'm gonna shoot you, don't move faster. Let's go. Okay.